Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are here with the retrograde Saturn's aspect on Venus. Not the aspect of Saturn, retrograde Saturn's aspect on Venus, alright. It's a very tricky aspect, it's a very peculiar aspect, it's a very difficult aspect rather so what happens when saturn aspects venus but or rather what happens when a retrograde saturn aspects venus or rather what happens when a saturn who is in its own sign but retrograde and he aspects venus right so is it good for venus is it bad now see saturn venus is a very peculiar scenario because Saturn and Venus are both friends, uh, but Saturn is a natural malefic anywhere. He very much represents the qualities opposite of Venus, right? Venus represents youth and beauty, attraction. Saturn represents uh, things that we don't like, right? Things which we are averse to. Forget being attracted to or forget even being neutral about. So, whenever you say, you know, I like something that's Venus when you say ah I don't like neither I hate it I can have it sometimes but Saturn is like oh I hate that I don't need it I despise that that's Saturn right so the sign where your Saturn is placed in your birth chart that can uh, give us very good clues about things that we do not like either it's about people or type of politicians or food or experiences or philosophies in general right so now it's a very peculiar situation because saturn is aspecting venus now let's discuss what happens when a normal saturn aspects venus okay what do i mean by a normal saturn normal saturn means a saturn which is moving forward okay he's not stationary nor he's retrograde Okay. So when Saturn aspects Venus, by the way, uh, when uh, till when will this conjunction be? I mean, this mutual aspect be this mutual aspect will be till thirty first of August this year, okay, twenty twenty two. And it's a very interesting thing because currently, if you see, Sun is at twenty nine degrees as I am recording this today on sixteenth August. Sun is at around twenty nine degrees of Cancer, and tomorrow, seventeenth August, he is going to move into the sign of Leo, where he will be conjunct Mercury. So Sun is getting relieved from the aspect of Saturn, and to some extent, Saturn also is getting the relief from the aspect of the Sun. So. Therefore, it's it's very interesting because if you see, Venus is quite far. Um, sun is at 29 degrees of Cancer. Uh, Venus is at around 12 degrees, right? Quite far. Now, what about Saturn? Saturn is at 17 deg 27 degrees, right? So actually, the Sun Saturn mutual aspect is quite strong. Mm, uh, but Venus is approaching 27 degrees, right, of uh, Cancer, where the direct aspect of Saturn is falling. And by the time Venus advances, Saturn will reach around 26 or maybe you know, around 25, 26, around that degree. So, around 25, 26 degrees of Cancer, when Venus reaches. Uh, this mutual aspect will be very 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 tight all right so so first of all if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want to watch other transit videos you will see it uh, in my channel and if you want a consultation please go to my website you will also find it down in the description section of every video God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so when Saturn aspects Venus, what happens? Uh, generic normal Saturn. Forget he is exalted. Forget he is debilitated. But he is not stationary nor he is retrograde. So he is just forward. So when Saturn aspects, what happens? Venus understands that 
see what is saturn saturn is reality basically right saturn shows what we deserve our karma the literal things that we are destined to get so now we know what venus is right venus is fancy once you know all the love of the world all the beauty of the world all the enjoyments of the world all the pleasures of the world all the nice things but the thing is everything is not destined for us right there are only certain things certain experiences and certain people that are destined for us as per our previous karma so now what happens is when saturn is not aspecting venus it's a situation like never ending optimism of venus right but suddenly when saturn aspects venus what happens is we come under this we we experience the reality and reality is frustrating because we do not have all the pleasures of the world right so people say that saturn and venus conjunctions and mutual aspects are very daunting no it's not daunting what happens is the mirage of venus breaks the illusion of venus breaks right the fanciness of venus breaks because we understand that we have only a limited number of experiences and pleasures which are destined for us and we will have to accept it either by hook or by crook we we'll like it or we don't we we got to accept that right so this is what happens when saturn aspects venus right we become more conscious of our actual karma related to venus that's all nothing else now what happens when saturn is retrograde there's a very famous shloka which says krura vakra maha krura right krura vakra maha krura what does it mean it means when a planet is krura which means it is a natural malefic krura vakra when a natural malefic is retrograde vakri means retrograde maha krura means is immensely malefic right So what does it mean? Krura, Vakra, Mahakura, immensely malefic. What does it mean? Just Saturn will go and just kill Venus. I mean, not literally, but does it mean that we will never experience any love or any happiness? Well, no, not exactly. But what happens when retrograde Saturn aspects Venus is that we can sometimes. be so obsessed with the things that we do not have in regards to venus that we forget the things that we have in regards to venus see when saturn aspects venus we see the plus and the minus right but now krura vakra maha krura right which means super malefic malefic is like three times more powerful when is retrograde so now what happens is we are so bogged up with the reality so obsessed so disappointed that we understand or we think that oh my god what if i had this what if i had that or if if only i had this if only i had that my life would have been something else right uh well and then what happens we forget the things that we have okay we may not have something we may not have that but we we have something right <clears throat> so that is the problem with retrograde saturn aspect of venus we forget all the things that we have and we only focus on the things that we do not have so then what happens we get into depression because you like it or you not you like it or you don't you want to believe it or not the desires that our mind has and the things that we have to fulfill those desires are very 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 limited there is like you know you you imagine you do some mathematics you know how much money you want uh, i mean sorry how much money you have divided by how much money you want right maybe it's something like you know 10 lakh rupees you know by 100000 billion right everybody wants to be a billionaire uh, i mean at least if people think in context of money everybody wants to have unlimited money right unlimited sensual enjoyment uh 
but then the problem is we can't have it right because that is not there as a part of our destiny there are certain experiences which we are destined to have but not everything so the biggest problem with retrograde saturn's aspect in we on venus is lack of gratitude for the things that we have right this is the that is why whenever retrograde saturn is aspecting any planet we may be so caught up in the things that we don't have that we become least interested in the things that we already have that that's terrible because that makes us more miserable because on one hand we are thinking of the things that we do not have and on the other hand we can't even see the things that we have so that reinstantiates our feeling of emptiness and misery within of not having certain things because now we start to believe we don't have anything at all there is absolutely nothing right so that makes our life more miserable that gives us the extreme level of suffering right well then what to do what's uh, what's the solution right well the solution is to have gratefulness to have gratitude to be grateful towards the things that we have right to be grateful for whatever luxury that we have in this world to be grateful to uh, our spouse or venus can represent a uh, woman in general or sister right so therefore when venus is getting the aspect of retrograde saturn we can start to find too many faults with our uh, life partner right now which is terrible because now that may not be wrong always but when retrograde saturn is aspecting we are ready to trade off all the good things and we only focus on their flaws and faults right but the problem with this is they they are also having this aspect right everybody is experiencing this in the world so they do the same with us and then the relationship is under strain because imagine two people staying with each other and just quarreling like dogs been pointing at faults right so we have to understand that not everything that our mind wants will be fulfilled but we should not ruin the things that we have in the name of things that we do not have or in the name of things that we think should have been ours right so therefore this conjunction can be very daunting sometimes but it can also teach us gratefulness that my dear sir my dear madam well you tried and you wanted something you wanted somebody but it didn't work so does it mean that everybody else is worthless is useless well maybe not right so it's a good time for us to look deep within and see what what is the reality how can i appreciate thing the things that i have at the same time accepting the reality that not everything will be mine right so that will be all from my side and of course he is retrograde but also in uh, the sign of capricorn which is own sign so that uh, makes it even stronger okay so of course uh, it's a tough conjunction or a mutual aspect but if you learn the lessons uh, life is beautiful after this right because then you understand you make peace with the fact that this is reality i cannot get everything that i want you can be lakpati karodpati arappati you cannot be lakshmipati that is vishnu himself right you can be millionaire trillionaire whatever zillionaire <laughs> but you can't be god he is as prashar muni says you know one of the six opulences of god of lord krishna is that he is the most wealthiest person more wealthier than anybody else and in unlimited amounts and for eternity right so god is the only one who is the possessor of all opulences we cannot have them man let's not expect <laughs> all right thank you very much if you like this video click please click the thumbs up and if uh, you are interested please share it with somebody who you know is doing for finding with their spouse right 
and yes if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section you will find it below what is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find good in your spouse thank you